In this video, I'm going to talk about solving absolute value equations. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is look, look at these two equations, unless they have an absolute value in both of those. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solve both these equations, show you how to solve um, equations that have absolute values in them. A little bit different here, a little bit different. Okay, now if you have an absolute value that's just on a number, it's not really that big of a deal. It doesn't really change very much. But if you have an absolute value on a variable here, that actually changes a lot. Changes a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to show you, and I'm not going to go into a lot of de a lot of description of why, uh, why we solve it this way. Um, but uh, uh, I'm just going to show you the way that we solve this. A little bit different from what you usually do. Okay, so now with absolute values, we know that an absolute value is the distance from that number to zero on the number line. Okay, so now you can actually have two distances. You can either go the positive direction or the negative direction, ending up getting the same distance. Okay, now in 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 that kind of aspect, we, we're gonna we're gonna be have to solve this two different ways because we have to think about the the positive way to solve this and the negative way to solve this. Okay, so it's gonna kind of uh, we're gonna solve this twice basically is what it equates to. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this inequality. We're gonna split it up. Well, kind of split it up. It's kind of a split, not really. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this thing twice. The first time that we're going to rewrite it, we're going to rewrite it as we see it, except for we're not going to put the absolute value sign the symbols. So 9, or excuse me, x plus 9 is equal to 13. Okay, so that's the first one I'm going to write, this first split that I'm going to make. The second one over here is actually when I, when I split this up, when I, when I rewrite this, I'm going to rewrite the left side without the absolute values, but then the right side, I'm actually going to change. The right side, I'm going to change to a negative 13. Okay, so take a moment and look at those two. X plus 9 is equal to 13 and x plus 9 is equal to negative 13. Now again, remember, absolute values are distances on a number line. So basically what we're looking for is a distance that's going to be 13. Well, uh, from 0 to 13, that's a distance of 13. But then also a distance of 0 to negative 13 is also a distance of 13. So you got to take both into account. That's kind of why we split both of these up. Now, again, that's a very, very vague and, and very quick generalization of why we split this up twice. But it gives you an idea of why we have to do this twice. Okay, so now what we do is we just solve this, just like you would any other equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides, x equals, uh, what would that be, x equals 4. Okay, subtract 9 from both sides, x equals uh, two negative numbers, uh, that would be negative 22. And that's it. Okay, so now, if you're still a little confused on this, what you can always do is just plug these numbers back in to, to figure out... Um, to figure out if they still work. So let's take that, let's take that 4. Okay, let, let's take a little bit of time. Take this 4 here, and we're going to plug it back in. Okay, so 4 plus 9, absolute value of that, is that going to be equal to 13? Okay, that's kind of the question we have here. Is that going to be equal to 13? Okay, well, 4 plus 9 is 13, and the absolute value of 13 is 13. So this does work. Okay, a little check mark there. This does work. All right, so let's do this with the next one. Let's try this with negative 22, okay? So negative 22 plus 9, we're going to take the absolute value of that, and we're going to see if that still equals 13, okay? Well, negative 22 and positive 9, that actually makes a negative 13, and the absolute value of negative 13 is 13. So look at the left and the right. It does work. So basically what we have here is two numbers two numbers that both work in this equation. Two numbers that both work in this equation. Again, because we're working with absolute values. Absolute value is a distance, so thir the absolute value of 13 and the absolute value of negative 13, it's basically the same thing. All right, so that's kind of a, kind of an, a, a quick explanation of what that is. So I'm going to work on we're going to the second example over here. We're going to the second example. Now, notice it's a little bit different. Over here, everything was, I got the absolute values on the left, numbers on the right, and this one's a little different. We got absolute value and a number on the left, and then numbers on the right. So the first thing you actually have to do with this before you split it up is you have to kind of move everything across or away from one another. This absolute value needs to be by itself, and the numbers need to be on the other side. So the first thing I need to do First thing I need to do is actually add 8 to both sides. Okay, now I have the, six, the absolute value of 6x. I got that by itself, and now I got 30 by itself. I got the absolute values on one side, numbers on the other. So now I can actually start to split this apart. Now I can actually split this apart. The left side is going to be 6x equals 30. I'm just going to basically write it as I see it without the absolute values. 
And the other split is going to be 6x equals negative 30. Equals negative 30. That's a bad 3 there. That's a bad 3. That's okay. We'll just leave that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solve both of these. So now actually, interestingly enough, and you can kind of catch it from the first one. The first one, we just subtracted 9 both times. This one over here, we're going to divide by 6 both times. So actually, when you split this apart and you solve it, you're going to do the same exact steps on the left, on this left one over here and on this right one. You're going to do the same exact steps. Now you're doing them to a different number, but again, the steps are going to be the same. So it's kind of nice, kind of nice. X is equal to, divide by 6, this is going to be 5. Divide by 6, X is equal to negative 5. All right. Now, again, what I'm going to do is real quickly just plug this in and to see um, if this actually works. I'm going to plug this back in to see if this actually works. All right. So 6 times 5 in the absolute value and then subtract 8 from it. Is that going to be equal to 22? Okay. Well, 6 times 5 is 30. Okay. The absolute value of 30. All right. The rest of this down. The absolute value of 30 is 30. So I have 30 minus 8 is equal to 22. Well, that, in fact, 22 is equal to 22. That does work. Okay. That does work. Okay. On the other hand, okay, getting down here in the corner of my work here. On the other hand, what happens if I plug in negative 5? Okay. So I have, I have 6 times, little parentheses here, negative 5, well, absolute values, minus 8 equals 22. Is that going to be true? Is that going to be true? Okay, so 6 times negative 5 is a negative 30. Okay, so I'm taking the absolute value of negative 30, subtracting 8 from it. Is that going to be equal to 22? Okay, so the absolute value of negative 30 is in fact 30 minus 8 is equal to 22. Well, in fact, yes, 30 minus 8 is 22. Okay, so notice that actually down here, these two were relatively similar. Okay, we actually had the kind of the same steps here. Alrighty, and in fact, it did work. 22 is equal to 22, so these are my solutions. 5 and negative 5 are both solutions that work for this. Okay, so there's a quick couple of examples of solving absolute value equations. The thing you got to remember here, two things you got to remember, is that first of all, you got to you got to switch things up, or excuse me, you got you to split things up. Your first split is going to be the equation as you see it, without the absolute values. The second split is going to be the left side, the absolute value is going to stay the same, but the right side, you're going to change the sign of it. So it's going to go from positive to negative or negative to positive, depending on your problem. And also, one thing to remember is that you have to get the, before you split everything apart, you have to get the absolute value by itself and the numbers by itself. So notice we had to add 8 to both sides here before we could do anything, before we could split it apart. Okay, so it's a nice, quick, short video on how to uh, solve absolute value equations.